Good afternoon and welcome to the Utopian Baseball Universe Power Rankings for Monday, April 19th. April 19th, by the way, is one of the great dates in Brewers history. April 19th, 1987, Easter Sunday, the day Rob Deere and Dale Swaim homered to give the Brewers their 12th straight win 34 years ago today. I cannot believe it. I was 11 years old. To this day, still my favorite all-time Brewers memory. Maybe my favorite baseball memory. I know game six for the Mets uh, was just surreal, but just I, I always come back to today. Uh, thank you for joining me today. This is the second time we've done the power rankings. Again, these are unofficial. Do not wager on these. Uh, we're going to go 32 through 1, uh, just to give you guys an idea of uh, where the teams lie right now. Uh, if you remember last week, the Cardinals were the first ever power ranking number one, and then they went on to lose five straight games uh, before winning yesterday. So they are – they. Uh, are most likely not going to be number one today. Who is? Well, let's get right to it. Uh, and then at the conclusion of the power rankings today, uh, we will get you a final because they're still going. We'll get you a final for the um, Diamondbacks at Red Sox, Patriots Day game in the Utopian Baseball Universe. Of course, the Red Sox are beating the White Sox in Major League Baseball's version of that game today. So we will get you that final at the conclusion. But uh, with that being said, here we go. The power rankings for Monday, April 19th. At number 32, we have the Arizona Diamondbacks, 5-15. and 15. We're playing right now at, at Fenway Park. Uh, a run differential of negative 31. They are 0-9 at home. They return home tomorrow. Uh, but right now, they're number 32. At number 31, we have the Phillies. 6-15, and 15, a run differential of negative 53. This team is 0-6 on the road. Um, and they return to the road uh, today or tomorrow. I think I think it's tomorrow. Uh, at number thirty, the Cubs. The Cubs are very streaky. Remember, in spring training, they lost eight straight, and then they won eight straight, and then they started the year. I think they swept the Padres, and then they got swept by Seattle. But they're very streaky. Uh, they come in at number thirty. They're seven and fourteen. They're 5-10 and 10 at Wrigley Field. They have a run differential of negative 45. At number 29, we have the Expos, 7-14, and 0-6 oh on the road. Uh, and again, they uh, return to their uh, road schedule this week. Run differential is only negative 6, so they're playing competitively. They're just not figuring out how to win these games. At number 28, we have the Baltimore Orioles, 8 and 13, uh, run differential of negative 28. They're 2 and 7 on the road. Uh, at number 27, we've got the Nationals, 8 and 13. They've lost five straight. They just got swept by the Giants, who uh, were a, a bottom five team just last week. So that's gonna that's gonna affect it as well. Uh, number 26, we have the Kansas City Royals, 9 and 12. Right now they're playing in arguably the toughest division in the in the universe, the South. But they are in eighth place in the South, and they have a run differential of only negative five. Um, but they got to figure out how to win these games. They're two and four at home. Uh, we've got the Yankees coming in at 25, 9 and 12 record, a negative 20 run differential, six and nine at home are the Yankees. And then at 24, the Giants, who moved up a couple slots because of that sweep on the road of Washington. Uh, they're 8-13 and 13 after winning four straight uh, run differential of negative 20. 
So now let's go to the next set of nine. We've got at 23, the Padres. The Padres are 9 and 12. They've lost two straight. Uh, run differential of negative 24. At number 22, we've got the Mariners, also 9 and 12. Um, they're, they're the first team to show up on the list with a positive run differential of 4. Um, and they'd be higher on this list, but they've really struggled uh, since they actually beat the Cubs in that sweep. Um, they haven't really played very good baseball, but there are only two games out in the West. Anything can happen. Uh, number 21, we have the Brewers. The Brewers are on fire. The Brewers started off the season 1-5, and five, and they're now 10-11, and 11, which means they've won, uh, what, 10 of 16? Uh, 10 of 15? Nine of fifty. I don't know, but it's they're they're good. They're, they've been good lately. Uh, they're ten and eleven. Uh, run differential of plus seven, and they just swept the Houston Astros. So the Brewers at number twenty one. At number twenty, we have the Texas Rangers, who are eleven and ten. Uh, run differential of negative three. Uh, four and two at home. Uh, they return home this week. Then at 19, we have the Mets. The Mets have been kind of streaky. Uh, they're 10 and 11. Two and seven on the road. Run differential of plus three for the Mets. At number 18, we have the Twins, 11 and 10. Uh, run differential of plus four. Uh, the Dodgers at number 17, they're 10 and 11. A run differential of negative 23. But, you know, this was the best team in the universe last year in the regular season. And I feel like they can get hot at any time. This is the type of team that I think can, you know, win 10 straight, you know, just like that. So I think reputation is helping them out here. At number 16, we have the Angels, 10 and 11. Run differential of plus 9. Uh, this is a very weird uh, home and road split. They're 0-6 at home, 10 and 5 on the road. And then at number 15, we have the Astros. They would have been much higher, but they just got swept in Milwaukee. They're 12 and 9, run differential of plus 13. And they even gave up 18 runs in a game this weekend. Uh, so that's amazing. So the pitching is there <coughs> all but, you know, for one game, basically. All right, let's go to the top 14. At number 14, we have the Red Sox, 10 and 10, <coughs> playing right now. Um, run differential of plus 19. They've taken the first two against the Diamondbacks in the series. And, and again, we'll get you the result of today's game here shortly. At number 13, we have the Blue Jays, who are in first place in the East, 11 and 10. Uh, they've won two straight. Their run differential is actually negative 15, but they're 8 and 4 at home, so they're figuring out ways to win at home. Um, they've been blown out a couple times uh, for for the for the bad run differential there. At number twelve, we have the Oakland A's, eleven and ten, six and three at home, run differential of negative seven. At number eleven, we have the Colorado Rockies, eleven and ten, uh, run differential of plus nine. Surprisingly, they have the best pitching in the West right now, by far. By far, they're giving up like three and a half runs a game, the Colorado Rockies. At number 10, we have the Chicago White Sox, 12-9. and nine. Um, If I'm not mistaken, let me just double check here. The White Sox lead the whole universe in runs scored. Um, I, I haven't done the proper math here, but they've scored 135 runs in 21 games. That's pretty close to seven. That's really good. They're 12 and 9. Uh, at number 9, we have the Florida Marlins. 12 and 9. 7 and 2 at home. Run differential of only plus 2. But again, they're winning games. At number 8, we have Max Bailey's Cleveland Indians at 12 and 9. 9 and 6 at home. Run differential of plus 7. At number seven, the Cardinals. The Cardinals were number one last week. They've fallen all the way to seven after a one-in-five week. 
Uh, the Cardinals are 12 and 9. Run differentials plus 4. Let's see if they can uh, rebound this week. And at number 6, we have the Tampa Bay Rays, 13 and 8, 5 and 1 at home, a run differential of plus 24 for the Rays. So that leaves us with our top five. And by the way, and now that I'm looking at it, I just noticed this now. The top 10 teams are all South and North Division teams. The top West team was Colorado at 11, and the top East team was Toronto at 13. So maybe that changes with uh, the – I, well, I mean, the South and West are hosting this week. So it's not like the South has been playing all home games. They've played a lot of away games. The You know, Braves are 8-4 on the road. Uh, Bulls, Rays, all with winning records on the road. So it's, it's interesting how this is laying out. Anyway, let's get to our uh, top five. At number five, the Durham Bulls, 13-8. Five and one at home, eight and seven on the road. Run differential of plus fifteen. They're hitting the ball. Uh, number one offense in the South. Uh, they would be number one in the West and the East. There's only two teams that have scored more runs than the Bulls so far: the Chicago White Sox and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, so the Bulls are getting a lot. Monty Irvin, Josh Gibson, Dwight Evans, Johnny Mize, Dick Allen. Glaber Torres, they are hitting well. At number four, we have the world champion Atlanta Braves, 13 and 8, 5 and 4 at home, 8 and 4 on the road, a run differential of plus 15. Uh, they're a top 10 offensive team. Uh, they're getting timely pitching. Uh, some days they just look like champions uh, like last year. Keep in mind, last year they didn't even win their division. Right now they sit atop the, the South with uh, Durham and Tampa Bay. Atlanta Braves at number four. Our number three team right now is J.D. Schloss's Cincinnati Reds, 15-6, and 9-3 and three at home, 6-3 and three on the road, a run differential – of plus 46. This team, they, they look like they're going to do some more damage in 2021. Again, if you're new to the universe, this is year two. The Reds were in the championship last year and lost to the Braves in five. But they've got a lot of unfinished business in the Utopian Baseball universe. Reds at three. Number two team right now, the Pittsburgh Pirates, 15 and 6, 5 and 1 on the road, 10 and 5 at home, a run differential of plus 32. Remember, they took two or three from the Tigers last weekend. Uh, so they're, they're a very good team. They're going to be playing on the road uh, at least for the next six, um, but it doesn't seem to bother them. They're 5 and 1 on the road so far. And our number one team. The Detroit Tigers, 16 and 5, 10 and 2 at home, 6 and 3 on the road, a run differential of plus 34. They open a series, uh, I think it's tomorrow, it's today or tomorrow, versus the Texas Rangers. And then this weekend, they're at Houston. Uh, so a test, those are two winning teams in the South or, you know, a game or two out, uh, depending on who we're talking about. But the Detroit Tigers are our current power ranking number one team. Now, uh, we do have a final to give you. I don't have a graphic for it. But at Fenway Park this morning, game started at 10 o'clock Central, the Boston Red Sox complete the sweep against the Arizona Diamondbacks. 4-1 winners today at Fenway. 
Uh, this was the 2021 Patriots Day game for the Red Sox. Um, what a series. Uh, Friday night, the Red Sox did something that's never been done in the history of the Utopian Baseball universe. Jason Veritek hit uh, what, what I knew as a samurai slam as a kid, what, what I think MLB now refers to as an ultimate slam. It's when a team is down three runs in the ninth and hits a walk-off grand slam. Jason Veritek did that Friday. They came from behind to win Saturday. They were off yesterday. 4-1 winners today. Smokey Joe Woods, seven scoreless innings, five hits allowed, five strikeouts. David Ortiz, two for three with a walk. Homered, scored two runs. Randy Johnson, 0-4 for the Diamondbacks. Jonathan Papelbon picks up his second save as the Red Sox sweep the Diamondbacks. The Red Sox will travel to... Boy, I wish I had it in front of me. I th I think L.A. I think the Red Sox... I mean, I could very easily just check this right now. Why don't we just do that since since I am advertising this as a show. Uh, Red Sox at Angels uh, this week. Uh, so there you have it, folks. Uh, while I have you here... Let's just let's just take a look at this week uh, because we got a lot of good stuff. Keep you here for another couple minutes. Uh, in games today, of course, we have the final uh, Red Sox over the Diamondbacks. In games today, tonight, we've got Baltimore at Seattle. We've got Washington at San Diego. Uh, we've got Tigers Rangers. Verlander versus Kenny Rogers. Uh, we've got White Sox at Rays, Cubs at Marlins, and our featured game tonight, Monday Night Baseball on ABC, Pirates at Astros, John Candelaria versus Dallas Keuchel. Those are our six games tonight. Uh, and then we have uh, 10 series kicking off tomorrow. We've got Red Sox Angels. We've got Phillies at Dodgers. Um, that's going to be our ESPN game tomorrow night. Uh, Blue Jays at Giants. Expos at A's. Mets at Rockies. Yankees at Diamondbacks. They're going to be celebrating the 2001 World Series tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock. Uh, that's going to be Lefty Gomez versus Zach Greinke. Uh, and then we've got Brewers and Royals is our featured game Wednesday night. Uh, the UBU Network Showcase. Wednesday night, it's going to be Gallardo versus Splitorf. Uh, we've got Twins Cardinals this week. Reds at Bulls. That's two top five teams in the power rankings. Three versus five in Durham. Uh, and then Cleveland at Atlanta. We're going to be celebrating the 1995 World Series Wednesday afternoon at 3 o'clock. How about Satchel Page versus Kid Nichols? Did that do anything for you? Uh, so that's what this uh, first part of this week looks like. Uh, obviously, we'll get you the weekend stuff later in the week, but a lot of good stuff here. Um, you won't want to miss uh, the UBU uh, report tonight. Um, I know we have some West Coast games, but I'm going to try to do it... I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do it in the during the Bre Brewers are on TV tonight. Brewers are uh, at San Diego. I'm gonna do it probably in the third or fourth inning. I'm just gonna go live and, and get you these six scores. Um, but I have something planned uh, that I think is gonna be fun. Uh, I've done this a couple times. Live reveals of uh, simulations that I do. I usually do the simulations at night. Uh, this morning. I pulled the date for tomorrow's games, and I, when I was looking at the box scores, I saw something that I remembered from high school. And if you guys know me, uh, you know I'm, I'm 45 years old, so I went to high school in the early 90s. But when I pulled this date, which was, again, completely random, I looked at the box scores, I saw something I recognized, and I clicked, and sure enough, it was it. We have something really cool for you tomorrow night. 
Um, but what's exciting about it is I have no idea right now which team is going to benefit from this. But you're going to find you're going to watch me find that out tonight. I'm not going to obviously share it. I'm not going to give I'm not going to give away who it's benefiting or what happens. But you're going to see me react to it live, and then you're just going to have to think about it for 24 hours. Um, I hope that adds an element of fun to this because I'm not giving away anything. I'm just telling you something cool happens tomorrow, and then you guys will see me react to it in real time tonight because I haven't hit shuffle yet on what games go where. I, I do that at night. But you guys are going to see me react to it tonight. So I'm very excited. It's going to be a great week. Um, so we'll see you tonight. I, I'm thinking, you know, about 10 o'clock or so, 10 central. Uh, everyone have a great day, and we will we'll see you later.